Flosstube, it's Becky um, here on YouTube, um, the YouTube you're watching YouTube. Um, so this is my channel about cross stitch and all things fiber arts. And so I'm back for another um, fun video to share a little bit of what I've been working on the past week. And I have a special guest, which I'll talk about in just a second. Um, so if you're new here, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Um, I love cross stitch, I love quilting, sewing, all the things. Uh, so yeah, so I love sharing all the things with like-minded people. And so thank you for subscribing to my channel. And I hope you'll keep coming back to um, share in more crafty things. And if you've watched my other videos, you know that I'm sort of documenting my journey um, from the last year um, of fighting breast cancer. So I'm doing it to share all the things I love, plus um, just sort of document all the beautiful things that I'm continuing and able to make. So if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. And if again, if you're new, hit the little bell icon and you'll be notified every time I make a video. Otherwise, just hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers because I think it will be fun. So, all right, so let's get started. I'm going to, um, actually, I'm gonna introduce a special guest. So this past week, everybody knows Pam and Steph from Just Keep Stitching. They are, I mean, unless you're hiding under a really dark rock, you wouldn't know them. I've been, I've seen every single one of their videos. They're a mother-daughter duo, and um, yeah, I just love them. And this past week, um, Pam had said, that Steph was like her little annex. If she forgot something, she could bounce ideas or Steph was there to help her remember things. And I thought, man, floss tubing would be so much easier. It's hard when you're a one person show. It's, um, it's harder than it looks. So I thought I need, I need a Steph. I'm closer to Pam's age. So I thought, I need a step. I need an annex to help me when I'm fumbling with my words and all the things. So with, keep in mind, I don't draw. I love all crafts, but I'm terrible at drawing. I'm not good with paper crafts, but I can't bring step into my house. So I made me a step. So, um, yes, I, um, yeah, she's, I obviously am not doing her any justice because she's stinking cute and adorable. But I just wanted you guys to say hi to Steph. She came to join me for this floss tube and I love her. And their channel is Just Keep Stitching. And again, I don't know anything about paper crafts, but... I think she's adorable here and adorable, super adorable in real life. So I love you, Steph. <laughs> yeah, she's so cute. So Steph is going to be here for me to talk to. Um, and maybe I could reach in and she's going to be my little annex today. So she could help me if I get stuck. So yeah. Are you ready, Steph? You are? Okay, let's go. All right, guys, I'm going to show you what I worked on this week. I didn't get a whole lot done because we, um, I didn't do a whole lot of stitching. We went to Estes Park, Colorado to see the deer and the elk and just do some outdoor stuff. Um, the weather has been beautiful, not so hot. And so I didn't get a lot of stitching. Um, on all my projects and I tell you what I've been bouncing around all over the place just stitching a little bit of this and a little bit of that um, so yeah let's just get started I'm gonna show you my whips and then we'll get into some finishes and some fully finishes and that's about it so as you guys know 
I was working on the animal cracker. Oh, and I have some haul. Um, I was working on the animal cracker series, Maggie May. I finished the little bobbin, and um, one day I want to get all of all of them because um, they're so cute. So I was stitching on this one. Everybody knows it. And I got a little further. So I am changing the dress. And of course, I have the floss there, so hanging. <laughs> so I got more done on her dress. And she's super cute. And I love her. And I can't wait till she's done so she can go in my room and be a stand up um, with all the other little all the other little ones. And last time I had wanted to tell you guys the color I was using and I kept forgetting. It's um, by Gentle Arts Berry Cobbler. Oh, I'm kind of shaky today. And yeah. So and these are the colors that I'm gonna use for all of for most of for the two or three that I do have. I don't have any of the newest ones, which I really want to get. So there's that. And I'm of course prepared for the floss tube running nose. So I apologize in advance, but it is what it is. And then I, I don't have a lot of Halloween stitching or Halloween um, cross stitch decor. And so I found these in my stash by Waxing Moon Designs called Halloween Littles. And I stitched the Frankenstein. So this is the pattern. And then um, I did him, which I am gonna show you. I'll show you right now, actually. Oh, 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 that's just the back. Um, I forgot I fully finished him. So I'll just show you, I was gonna say, I'll show you where I'm at in stitching, but I finished him. And I started to do this one, but I'm gonna show you where I got and why I may have to start over. What do you think, Steph? You like them? I like them too. You think I should probably start the skeleton over and we'll tell the people why. All right, we'll do that. So here's the skeleton. He's um, kind of jumping ahead and this is called a FFO for those that don't know, a fully finished object cross stitch. It should be FFC, fully finished cross stitch. Um, I just put some Lady Dot Creates around and I think he came out super cute and I did change the floss colors and just made them my own and I'll show you the flosses that I'm using. This is a variegated floss and then I used some Halloween fabric from the Hey Boo collection for the back and then the Lady Dot Creates is called Witchy. And that's the trim. And I um, used, I didn't use polyfill, I used um, words, what is it called? Um, I used for needle felting. Somebody's yelling at me, telling me the word. Oh my gosh. I still have chemo brain, I cannot remember. Um, a wool. I used wool to stuff it. And then if you press it with your iron, it makes it flat. What do you think, Steph? He's cute, right? Steph says, yeah, he's cute. So he came out super cute. So I'm gonna finish all of them and put them in a dough bowl. And I should be able to finish them in the next few weeks because to be honest, it takes about an hour. They're so small and it goes really quick. So it came out so, so cute. 
So I started to do the skeleton on the same gray fabric. The white wasn't showing, so I'd, I'll show you this variegated floss that I had. And it's not showing up, so I don't know. I'm going to show you guys this green, and you tell me what you think if I... There's no rules in cross stitch. There's no cross stitch police in my house. So, and it's Halloween, so why not make him look like a glow in the dark skeleton? So, I may switch to Frozen Margarita by Classic Color Works. I left my little, my little board. And I'm going to tell you why because look. You can't see, and I did all of this already. I mean, it'll go quick. It's kind of hard to see with the light. You can see the variegated gray. I don't think it's gonna show up enough. And I love this gray fabric, and I really want them all to be the same. So I'm thinking the ghost and him, I might stitch in the frozen margarita. So you tell me what you think, again, if I should do that. So it would be kind of like a glow-in-the-dark skeleton. Or I could do this one. It's called Petite Mason by Classic Color Works. That's a little... Um, Light. The light's kind of blowing it out. It's a little lighter. So it's this one or this one. Because I really wanted to keep them all the same fabric color. And I really like this gray fabric. And I believe it may be a Be Stitch Me or a Fortnite fabric. So I've had it for a long time in my stash. So yeah. So I think I'm going to have to start over with that. And then, you guys, I don't know if this is just DMC. I had this in my stash, and I don't have enough silk um, floss that I've ever used. I don't own many silks. I think just a few. But this is so soft. And I remember I purchased it at a quilting store in Estes Park. Four years ago when I first started stitching but it's one strand I don't know if you guys could see that I can't see but it's oh my gosh it's so so soft I mean oh I just it's soft and I love that I use one strand of it and it's covers on um, 14 count, 16 count, I don't know about on a linen, I haven't tried it. It might be a little too thick for a linen, but anyway, man, I just don't know what this is, but I just can't stop petting it <laughs> or touching it. It's so soft. So these are the colors that I'm going to use for these little guys. Aside from these two, deciding if I should do the skeleton in this green or this sort of a bluish green. It's really not coming up, but yeah. So there's that. Um, so these are really fun. Again, it's Waxing Moon Designs, and I'm gonna stitch them all. That's gonna be my goal this next week, is just to get all of these done, and that'll be my main focus. So I probably won't make another video for two weeks, because. That'll be all I have. And I just have it in a little Halloween bag that I had made a long time ago. So there's that, which is super cute. And then I only have one more thing that I was stitching on. And then we'll get into some fully finishes that I have had previously. And again, I wanted to bring a finish to show it's a Lindy Stitches pattern, and I keep forgetting because it's hanging on the wall. Maybe next time. So I was working on the Autumn Lane, a spooky stroll, and I'm changing all the colors, just making it my own, which 
worries me because I'm not real good at that. I really just like everything kitted up and but I'm gonna I went outside my comfort zone so you won't see all of these in the dress and the part of her dress or whatever you want to call it is different. So I made use this variegated floss and used a purple. And there she is. Yeah, so I just have the ghost and the little bats and the basket to do. And this I'm pretty sure is a fabric by Brandy at Be Stitching. I had in my stash. I haven't purchased any fabric in a long time, so yeah, super cute. Steph likes her too, right, Steph? He's cute. Steph's Oh, I just showed my messy back. I guess it's not too bad. I did carry it, some of the floss. It's okay. Nobody's going to ever see the back. And, oh, I do have the fabric. I apologize. It's called Pansy by Picture This Plus, which I think I've shared before. thought it was Brandy at Be Stitchy. And then these are just the little colors a dinky dies that I had it came in a box or something and the orange is pumpkin and then just blanc um, I do have a black DMC on here and then the gray is this thread works and it's like this variegated floss I should have brought my little quilting board yeah and that, so that's what gave it the variegation. And then another dinky dies for the red. I had this in my stash, so I don't know if it came in a Halloween box or something like that. I think I only own like four dinky dies. And so, yes. And then it's in this cute little Halloween bag which mm, looks like it's by Dot Dot Goose, yeah. So I'll have that done this week too, or in the next week or so. So that is it for my stitching. And, um, oh, no, I have one more big project that I'm working on. For my youngest daughter, she um, just really loved Jasmine from Aladdin. And this is the first time I've started working on a big stitching project with beads other than Mill Hill. And so I started doing the beads as I was going. I know a lot of people do the beading after, but the way my brain works, I just have to go and like chronological order for the most part but it's super cute oh that Claire let's see if I can cover the light that's really a glare let's see I'll try she's so cute and my daughter is gorgeous just like her and so I'm stitching this for her maybe it'll be done I don't know, whenever it's done. And I'm using all the call for everything. And it's actually on a fabric, on Ada fabric that I dyed myself. And so here is everything I have done. And it's so pretty. Look at all the beads, oh my word. So I'm very new to beading and all the things. So beautiful. It's going to be so pretty when it's done. A lot, a lot of work. The big, the rhinestone beads. And so it's on just this purple fabric that I had dyed and was in my stash. I probably should have put it on a prettier fabric. From be stitch me or something 
but it's fine. When I started it, this is what I had, and um, this is what I was working with, so I think it looks really pretty. I have a long ways to go, but it looks really, really pretty, and I love it. What do you think, Steph? You like it? Steph likes it. Yeah. Steph said it's great, so it's great. <laughs> and I'm using all the called for lots of colors. Oh my goodness. And they're a mess because they're in a bag. Yeah, lots of pretty colors. And I just have her because she's huge in this bag. And my gosh, I can't even remember if I made this bag or if my friend Bree, who is a quilter and a bag maker and all the things too. Um, I can't remember, but um, that's bad. But anyway, um, that houses, I house that. I have that cross stitch in that bag. So, all right. And that's it for my um, stitching. So I wanted to share a few things that I had finished um, when I very first started stitching about four or five, four years ago during the pandemic in 2020. Um, so be nice. They're not perfect at all and I've gotten much better at my finishing <laughs> I was looking I'm looking at this one over here and I'm like maybe I shouldn't show that it's crooked but it's fine and then I'll show you some haul and then um and then we'll say bye right Steph Steph's gonna hang out with me she probably won't be in every video but I just wanted to have her in today's video because <laughs> I watched the um, just keep stitching and this well, I watch them every all the time but I just love that um, again that Pam has um, said she was her little annex if she forgets something she has her there to help her remember because I know at my age and everything I forget it's hard and I always think with um, two floss tubers together if you're a floss tuber, correct me if I'm wrong, but it just seems a heck of a lot easier because there's just two, like the Floss Boston Cousins. I know I just started watching them. I think they've been doing videos for a year. I've mentioned them before. They're just hilarious. So, so anyway, that's why I have Steph with me today. So cute. So I don't know the name of these patterns because... I stitched them four years ago, but I just wanted to share because the season's going to start changing. And so I was noticing some of the decor stuff I'll show you. It looks like it even came off. I might have to add some more. Anyway, yeah, see how I have this up here? It must have come off when it was in the box, so I'm going to have to redo that. But this was a country cottage needleworks, I think, farmhouse, because I showed it in my first video. I stitched the entire thing and had it had it professionally framed, and I think I just pulled this one out because I love all things farmhouse and stuff. So that's cute. I do need to add some more and kind of fix it up because it's been in a bin and it moved, and yeah. So that was one and there's just two more and then we'll get on the haul and then I'll let you guys go and get on to your next floss tuber and this one I don't know the name of the pattern or anything and this is when I very just learned to stitch and there's a lot of boo-boos in here and do finishing so this is really beginner <laughs> but it's still cute and I love it and I put it up in our house every winter and fall and I think it's so cute and then one more excuse my reach 
And this one's really crooked, and I don't know who this one was by, but this was done four years ago, and I'll point out the crooked parts. And, because we learn, right? We get better as, if we're not learning and growing and getting better, then why are we here? So this says, little friends under the snow. And I put it on this, I painted this little board. I probably purchased it at Hobby Lobby. I never pay full, well, I don't wanna say I never pay full price, but I'm sure I had a coupon and stuff. And the fabric is from Fat Quarter Shop. A pet, petty Point, I think they call it. So you could see <laughs> how uneven it is. But like I said, nobody's going to know in my house. And so this was a, one of my very first cross stitch projects and finishes. And so that's pretty cute. So. All right, that is it for whips, FOs, FFOs, and all the things. And um, I did want to mention really quick, uh, I did start watching a new floss tuber to me. I think she's been, uh, has had a floss tube channel for a really long time. I don't really know, to be honest. Um, I have to go back and start watching her from the beginning, but it's called Sarah. She is called Sarah's Stitchery, and she has some really pretty fall and Halloween um, stitching. And yeah, so I really enjoyed her channel. Again, it's Sarah's Stitchery, and I'll try to link um, most of the stuff I talk about. I don't know how to edit. I wish I. I'm gonna have to ask my friend Becca um, to maybe video chat with me and help me maybe do that and I can insert pictures and stuff anyway I sort of digressed into editing but so a new floss tuber to me is Sarah Stitchery she has really cool fall and Halloween um, patterns so um, yeah aside from my regulars she's new to me so, all right, let's get into a little bit of haul that came in the mail, and then that's it. Um, yep. So, I purchased some stuff from Stephanie Webb at Lindy Stitches, and it came in, is it called Needlework Market or Stash Fest Market? Something like that. You guys know what it is. So I will share the goodies that came in the mail that I ordered from Steph. So I ordered the, everybody knows about the um, Pony Black Needles. You guys, these needles, I love them. They're small and they remind me of the um, Pat Carson needles. And I'll take the one of each out to show you real quick. I have a size 28 and a 26 and I like, I really like the 28. And let me show you the size. I wish I would have grabbed my little board, but I don't want to get up. So, this is, you can see about a quarter of an inch smaller is the 28, and this is the 26. They're equally amazing. And then there's the eye of them. This, the smaller one obviously is harder to thread, but I wish I would have brought the board, sorry. They are I love them. I really, 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 really love them. Sorry, I'm probably making you dizzy. Some have, I think, a black eye up top and a white part of the needle and vice versa. So, yeah, I don't think I have. Hmm. Anyway, hopefully you guys can see. But just Google them. Stephanie, I'm sure other, I don't know if anybody else is carrying them. 
but I love these because I stitch in hand and it just goes really fast, smooth, they're sharp. So yeah, if you want some new needles, go to Stephanie Webb's website, Lindy Stitches. I want to get a few more packs of these because they are really nice. And I have tons of so many other needles, but it's fine. Yeah, they're... And then this is... So, okay. I'm going on and on about those. I love them. So that's, I got those from Stephanie at Lindy Stitches. And then I love this October's Cross Stitch Chart by Teresa Kogut. I'm so glad I live in a world where there are, are Octobers. And I just want to start everything. I want to start all the things. This is so cute. I love this so much. So, so cute. I love everything about it. And I am going to use all the call for colors because I just love it. Or I'm going to try to. I don't know if I. Normally I order the floss when I order patterns. And I didn't this time. But anyway, I purchased that. And it came in the mail, which is so cute. And then it came with a little stash fest sticker. And then I purchased Scarecrow Spool Set, and I would love to get spools and finish it the same way. Looks like it has a little needle book, a little hmm. I'll just show you. You guys have seen it. Super cute. So cute. Sorry for the glare. It's so hard to get the lighting right when you're not a professional, right? So cute. So I want to do it exactly the same on the spools. I think it's super adorable. Looks like little pin keeps. There's something up there. And so, yeah, so I ordered that. And I did order one, so I lied and said I didn't have any of the new, well, this might not be a new one. I don't think it is. I don't think I have any of the new ones. The Stacy Nash Animal Crackers, and I want them. They're so stinking cute. I just want them all. But I have two of the little girl ones, and then the little bobbin. And so I thought I would get the mister, because he's cute. So I ordered Monroe. Oh, the glare. So once I finish the other one, then I'll start on him. Super cute. And then, again, I don't own a lot of Halloween, and I love this. And I think um, Catherine and her mom, Debbie, I think Debbie's stitching this, or maybe... A lot of people are stitching it or have stitched it. Maybe Stitchy Witch 42, I don't know. Um, by Lola Crow, the ghostly ball. It's giving me a Titanic vibe with the staircase and everything. And I really love it. So I wanna start this too. <laughs> I mean, just the detail. Look at him, <laughs> so cute. I just love this, so it just, yeah, reminds me of the Titanic, a Halloween version, the staircase. Jack. <laughs> I love this. So that came in the mail. And three more things, and that's it. And then I ordered um, a Mill Hill because I love them. Everybody's on a Mill Hill kick. And I love Santa Claus. So I ordered a visit from St. Nick. Oh, the glare. And it, again, it comes with all the um, floss and the beads. So yeah, everybody knows about Mill Hills. They're super cute. I always say I don't know what the screenshot's gonna be. 
I don't know. I don't want it to be my face. Um, yeah, so this is super cute. Maybe that will, well, the glare is just not good. So that, and then I, of course, ordered um, Sambri Stitches. My friend Becca, um, she's just a sweetheart. She gave me a shout out on her FossTube channel. I mean, I only have like 300 subscribers, but she is like truly the sweetest human. And yeah, she's just so, so sweet. And I wish I lived close to her and everything. So I ordered her Love Story pattern and it's beautiful. I may change the colors and things on it, but when I get to it, I'll let you guys know. I wish I could, I don't know, the lighting is, The lighting is really bad in here today. It's either it's too dark or too bright. Maybe if I take it down? I don't know. It's hard to see. I, um, the floss, she did like a cream, an ecru, I believe. It only has three colors. Um, I do love the purple fabric because purple's my favorite color but I don't think I'm going to stitch. I'm going to change this part out. No offense to her because I think the designers always say do what you make it your own. So yeah, every love story is beautiful, but ours is my favorite. So there's that. Super cute. And thank you, Becca, for giving me a shout out. Uh, again on your FossTube channel. You're just so sweet. So, so sweet. And so I went to um, a quilt store in Boulder on our way home from Estes Park and purchased some fabric, of course, because that's what quilters do. And I saw this Rick Rack embroidery kit. And I have never done embroidery. I have an embroidery machine, but I've never done embroidery by hand. And I thought this was so cute. And it's called Trail Dog, and it comes with the hoop, the floss, needle, and instructions. So there's that. And I think it's cute. So I'm going to give it a go and try all this. And there's the, in case you're interested. And it's from, I believe it's called Sobo Fabrics in Boulder, Colorado. So yeah. So that is it, you guys. That is all of what I um, worked on in the past. My haul. That was quite a bit of haul. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to be buying a lot because I have stuff. But, you know, what do you do? There's so much cuteness out there. So, all right. I think Steph says we're done. And thank you for all your help today, Steph. You were so much help and all the advice and the support. And yeah, I had fun and I think Steph did too. So, all right, you guys, with that being said, I'm going to jump off here and let you get on to your next boss tuber. And again, thank you for spending time with me. I really, really appreciate it. And, um, love knowing that I have somebody to share all the things with. Feel free to comment down below, ask questions. I'm on Instagram as Becky Crafty Mama. And um, here on YouTube, I share all the things on Instagram. I'm not a big um, Facebooker, but um, I'm over on Instagram. And so yeah, so thank you for spending time with me. I'm going to get off of here. We're going to go eat lunch at Maggiano's and go see um, Beetlejuice. So I'm really excited. So, all right, you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and weekend and um, enjoy stitching wherever you are. And remember, you never know what somebody's going through. So keep your hearts happy and your words kind always. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.